We had a surprising announcement today from Congressman Rush Holt. He's retiring. Holt is 65 years old. He's served in Congress for the past 16 years, made an unsuccessful run for the Democratic nomination to replace the late Senator Frank Lautenberg last year. You might recall Cory Booker won that race. And Congressman Holt says he has now decided it is time for him to do something else. As several people have already said they might be interested in trying to replace the congressman. State Senator Linda Greenstein has gone a bit farther than that. She's running. She joins us now from the State House. We welcome you to the program once again. Uh, boy, this was Thank quick. You. Were, you, were you waiting for this announcement? Did you expect it? I did not expect it. I wasn't really sitting and waiting for it. Um, I always had it in my mind that should something ever happen, I would throw my hat in the ring. And uh, I did decide to do that today quite quickly. I made phone calls talking to many supporters and letting them know what I was planning to do. And uh, I'm doing it, so here I am. What's better about being a Congress, a member of Congress than a state senator? Well, you know, I've loved being in the legislature. I always say to people, being in the Assembly and the Senate has a lot of similarities, and I've loved being in the Senate. But I've been in a total of 14 years, and I've gotten great, great experience. And I would really like to deal with issues on the national level. Uh, I think that would be very interesting as well. Now, in many ways, I would be dealing with the same kinds of issues, whether it's education, jobs, all of the things that are important to my constituents. But clearly, Congress has a different role, and I think it would be fascinating, and uh, I'm ready, willing, and able to do it. When we had Congressman Holt on this program fairly regularly, and of course during the debate uh, last year for the Democratic nomination to replace the late Senator Frank Lautenberg, he made it uh, frequent and strong references to the fact that he was the progressive in the race. So I ask you, from a philosophic and political standpoint, are you the progressive in this race? Would you be as progressive as Congressman Holt? I can't say for sure, um, and I, I think I would describe many of my policies and ideas as progressive. I see that as a very uh, big compliment, and I know that I had great respect, as did many of the constituents, for Congressman Holt. It would be an honor to fill his shoes, although they're very big shoes, and uh, it wouldn't be easy. But uh, I believe that I'm ready for it. I've been in office for about 23 years. I have school board experience, council but you know, experience. Senator, it, it, it strikes me mm -hmm. as interesting, though, because you'd be going from a majority party to, if, if the current situation stands in the House, to a minority uh, party member. Uh, which is very frustrating for a lot of people, especially Democrats who are used to being in power, to suddenly go there and be a representative without the ability to be a committee chair, without the ability to really implement the kind of policy decisions that, as a member of the majority in Trenton, you could. Yeah, and you know, when I started uh, 14 or so years ago, we were in the minority back then. So I actually have had experience with that. It is a little bit more frustrating to be in the minority, but you can do a lot from that position too. So I would act actually go in there with a uh, very excited um, mind in terms of all of the things that we could accomplish. I also did want to add, Mike, I do believe it's very, very important to have a woman in the delegation. There has not been a woman in the delegation for many years. I believe the last one was Marge Rockham. Marge Rockham in the 5th um, District, you're yes. absolutely right. Yes. And, uh, and but, I, I but, I, but I do want to, mm -hmm. and that notwithstanding, um, you got three members of this delegation, three out of a dozen, 25 percent, that are mm -hmm. saying, we're coming home, we're quitting. Holt is re retiring. Uh, Runyon, retiring. Andrews has quit. You want to go where they're kind of leaving. Why? Well, I think they're all leaving for different reasons. Um, and for me, it would be new and exciting. And uh, I think sometimes you just need fresh blood in any job to um, to see what might be done. Yes, I understand the, the pitfalls. I understand that it would not be easy. Um, being in the minority, there are a lot of problems down there. But I feel like I'll go in with a fresh perspective and I should be able to uh, to do something there. Now, I also did want to add, before we finish, sure. um, in terms of the footprint that I have in this district, in other words, the number of people that I've represented, I think I might have more than any of the other people who are throwing their hats in the ring. Senator? I've represented a, quite a large number of people in this district, both before redistricting and after, and I think that uh, a combination of these factors would make me the best candidate. Senator, I have to leave it there. Appreciate your coming on the program. We look forward to speaking Thank to you. you again. Thank you. Thanks.